This hour by Frederick Remington Fully Cooked Ready to Eat Bacon. Exclusive no refrigeration 10 year extended shelf life bacon. The thickest media center cut bacon in the industry at fullycookedbacon.com. The stocks discussed on Wall Street Raw are not in any way a recommendation or solicitation to buy, sell, or hold. If considering on acting on information, we first recommend you seek out a competent, licensed professional for advice. What kingdom has sent you? The kingdom of the Most High. Nothing you have ever experienced can prepare you for the unbridled carnage you're about to witness. The Super Bowl, the World Series, they don't know what pressure is. In this building, it's either kill or be killed. You make no friends in the pits and you take no prisoners. No prisoners. One minute, you're up half a million in soybeans, and the next, boom, your kids don't go to college and they've repossessed your Bentley. Are you with me? <laughs> Genesis Communication Network is proud to bring you Wall Street Raw with nationally recognized market timer and previous Wall Street Week elf, Mark Leibovic, welcoming you on board his financial time machine. And here is the elf himself, Mark Leibovic. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to uh, Wall Street Raw on this uh, glorious Saturday, December 9th. Uh, exciting uh, markets, as you know, with markets surging into new highs here in the past uh, several weeks. And, uh, of course, uh, the big surge in uh, Bitcoin, which is really uh, apparently the big topic among most of the traders, uh, surging over $17,000 a coin uh, earlier on Friday. Uh, meanwhile, the gold market's been uh, languishing uh, a bit, disappointing some of the uh, gold bulls out there and um, you know a lot of uh, trepidation about whether these markets can continue into new highs but uh, supposedly supported by the tax plan and the uh, the uh, Trump um pro-business uh, guidelines. Meanwhile, we uh, try to do the best each week to line up uh, a bunch of interesting guests for you. Uh, we're going to have our good friend Sinclair No joining us later in the program, along with uh, uh, Don Vialo, Henry Weingarten, and uh, now I have a very good old, very special friend and guest, uh, Ray Merriman, who's kind enough to join us at the last minute here on this Saturday morning. Uh, Ray, if you don't know, is the publisher of the MMA Market, Market Cycles. His monthly, weekly, and daily reports have served traders throughout the world since 1981. He's written several books on the correlation of financial markets to geocosmic studies, including the Gold Book, Geocosmic Correlations to Gold Prices back in 1982, and uh, was the which was the first quantitative study conducted in the relationship of planetary mechanics to financial market prices. And from 1997 through 2011, he wrote five five volume series on the ultimate book and stock market trading. He's the author of The Secrets of the Silver Trader and Merriman on Market Cycles and the, the Basics. Ray, got a great uh, resume there. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Thank you for having me, Mark. Pleasure to be with you again. Ho- ho- hopefully we covered uh, some of the key points. You have a new uh, book uh, coming out, uh, the new annual uh, report soon, right? Yeah, the annual forecast book actually will be out Monday. Uh, at least the ebook version, the printed version will be out Thursday, and we've been doing this since 1976. Uh, so it's our 42nd one, and I'm very proud of it. It's 200 pages, and it covers several financial markets and the political and economic uh, uh, environment of the world and the nation. So it's coming out. All right, so let's jump right to uh, how our listeners can get a copy of that. What's the best way they can reach you to get that uh, that book? Just go to our website at mmacycles.com and look at the banner, and there will be a, uh, something you just click right there, and it takes you right to the uh, ordering and description page. Great. I'm going to make sure that uh, everybody can get a copy of that if they, uh, they're they interested. So, Ray, uh, they could also call us. They could also call us at 800-662-3349. That will work just as well. Okay. I'm writing that down. 800-662-3349. So, Ray, I'm looking at, um, I think it's your, the report that came out about a month ago, the um, MM Cycles report from November. I haven't seen the uh, December one yet, but there's been a lot of stuff. Next week that comes out. Okay, so I'm keeping you on schedule. 
<laughs> yeah, you are. Monday it comes out. <laughs> Very good. We got the book. We got the newsletter. It's all coming out right uh, the next week. So we got good timing for this interview. So in, in that previous report, report, you mentioned that the 23-month cycle for the Dow is uh, due in January. So let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah, um, the four-year cycle, this, this is a well-known cycle, the four-year cycle uh, bottomed in uh, February of 2016 along with the six-and-a-half-year cycle. And the first phase of that is um, is a half cycle, the 23-month cycle. So 23 months from February of 2016 is January of 2018. You have to allow a four-month orb. It could go as late as May, uh, but over 80. Four percent, I think it is, of uh, historical uh, uh, records of this that have occurred in that uh, 18 to 28 month time band following the uh, four year cycle. So yes, it's due in January, give or take four months. It'll correlate with a primary cycle, which is also due in January, February, or the next one, which could be uh, as late as May. But I'm I'm kind of looking toward January and February as being the 23 uh, month cycle low, and if it is, uh, the market could easily uh, uh, get back down. Uh, you know, it could fall uh, 1,000 to 3,000 points between now and then. Okay, so maybe some profit taking will come in from all those big gains uh, this past year. People waiting to January to sell might be a, a fundamental explanation for that. If not uh, North Korea, yes. right? <laughs> <laughs> Some could be either one of those. Yes, could be a number of things, but those are two very possible possible ones you just mentioned. So, uh, for uh, investors or traders, the thought of lightening up here a little bit in anticipation of that makes a lot of sense. That would be my recommendation to start taking things off the table in December. Um, we've already taken our clients have already taken about a third off. Uh, actually, this week, December 4th, was our critical reversal date, and that, has, that is the high so far. So we advise uh, our position traders to take at least a third off at that point, and uh, we'll be looking to take more off in the next two weeks. Okay. Very important information for our listeners. Also, I know a lot of our listeners are very attuned to the uh, gold market, and the gold has been underperforming here in recent uh, weeks. Uh, um, you know, my thought was maybe there'd be some just tax law selling at the end of the year, and that might set up a, a buy, which has happened in several years. H- how do you read the gold market, Ray? Well, the gold market's due for an 11 month bottom, and that's actually due this month, December. Um, we have a geocosmic signature coming up this weekend. And typically, the gold market will bottom sometime in the two weeks before that. So I think it's trying to form a bottom right here. And uh, if so, um, we look for a nine. I look for a nine percent rise in silver or more. Um, and gold could be a, a good rally here too. Uh, once this bottom is in, and, and uh, this bottom should be no later than February. Ideally, it's happening right now. When I say right now. Uh, today, <laughs> maybe in the first part of next week, and then I'm looking for a 9% rally that's going into, to be completed, I think to be completed by January 26th. So I'm, our traders are starting to purchase gold now, and based on the closing, if it closes above a daily resistance, we'll be buying more positions uh, either today or early next week. I'd remind our listeners, again, if they want to get a copy of uh, Ray's newsletter or the book, to call 800-662-3349. That's 800-662-3349. Or go to MMA Cycles, MMACycles.com. Correct, Ray? That's correct. Mark, I'd like to add one more thing here. The, uh, this low in gold we had forecasted would drop to 1200 to 1250 And that forecast was made a couple weeks ago. In fact, it was even made, I think, the newsletter that you have. We're in that time band now. We're in the price range. We're getting in the price range. It could fall a little bit more, but time and price are meeting up right here, I think. And I assume silver would follow that same pattern or would deviate a little bit? Our our target on silver was 15.55, give or take 32 cents. We're in that time and price range, too. The bottom is due here, and the... Prices being met too, so we're looking for buying opportunities right now. Great. I want to thank Ray Merriman again for joining us, and uh, stay tuned. We're going to be back after the break with our good friend uh, Don Vilo.
You're listening to Wall Street Law with Mark Leibovitz. Go to WallStreetLawRadio.com for information on Mark's newsletters and products. Stay tuned. Mark will be right back. A commemorative President Trump dollar for only $5? Yes, the historic Trump dollar starts at only $5 at TrumpDollar.us. Choose from our unique three-coin collection in gold, silver, and copper. The Vote Trump dollar, inaugural Trump dollar, and Make America Great Again Trump dollar. Available only at TrumpDollar.us. Minted in the USA, our Trump dollars commemorate President Trump's patriotic stand. Order your Trump dollar collection today in time for Christmas delivery at TrumpDollar.us. That's TrumpDollar.us. Hello, Mr. Anderson. The NSA has noticed how much time you spend on conservative news sites. We have no choice but to consider you a domestic terrorist. Tired of your Internet activity being monitored by Big Brother? Get VirtualShield.com, the world's easiest to use virtual private network. Browse the web anonymously, leaving pesky advertisers and spies in the dust. Get started today at VirtualShield.com. Take advantage of our free 30-day trial. VirtualShield.com. You have the right to remain private. Excuse me, sir. Could you take a picture of my family and me with my cell phone? Sure. Poor Mrs. Anderson. Smile for the camera. Too bad hackers never get proper permission to access your cell phone or computer camera. Anyone is or could be susceptible to illegal spying. That's why VirtualShield.com has developed Identisafe, a new security software that blocks camera and microphone access from unwanted spies. Get started today at VirtualShield.com. Take advantage of our free 30-day trial. VirtualShield.com. You have the right to remain private. Anytime, any place, anywhere, radio remains the most intimate of all forms of media. At home, at work, in the car, on smartphones. Over 90% of consumers still listen to radio every week. That makes choosing radio as a place to advertise your business one of the best decisions you can make. Email advertise at GCNlive.com and partner up with an experienced GCN representative. Advertise at GCNlive.com. Easy, affordable, effective. The answer to being in control of your own health care is freedom from insurance. Become part of a group of self-pay patients that come together to share in each other's medical expenses. Individual share amounts begin at $107 a month and $347 for families. Choose from three health sharing programs. Holistic treatments may be eligible for sharing. See guidelines. Discount programs available for dental, vision, and pharmacy. Go to libertyoncall.org. That's libertyoncall.org. Heart disease is on the rise. Clogged arteries, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol levels may not be fully detected by you, but the symptoms are there. Loss of energy, blood sugar spikes and drops, poor circulation, and irregular heartbeat are just a few of these that can alert you that something is wrong. Hear how heart and body extract is making a difference in thousands of people's lives across America. My blood pressure has normalized. My diabetes has totally improved. Everyone is telling me now how much healthier I look, and I'm telling everyone how much healthy I feel. I recommend heart and body extract to everyone. Anybody over 40 in the North American continent should be using this product as a preventative to keep their cardiovascular system healthy. Order your two-month supply today by calling 866-295-5305. That's 866-295-5305. Or order online, hbextract.com. Heart and body extract, 866-295-5305. Or hbextract.com. This is Dan Pillett. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpillett.com. Never show any sign of weakness. Always go for the throat. Buy low, sell high. Fear, that's the other guy's problem. Welcome back to the Wall Street Raw Radio Show with Mark Leibovitz, your time machine for the financial markets. Want to know more? Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com. Now, here's 
the elf himself, Mark Leibovitz. Welcome back to uh, Wall Street Raw on a Saturday, December 9th. And uh, as you know, we have a jam-packed show for you today. We just uh, left our good friend Ray Merriman at MMA Market Cycles. And again, if you want more information, uh, please contact uh, Ray at 800-662-3349 for his great book and uh, newsletter. Meanwhile, we have our good friend Don Violo patiently uh, waiting for us here on the Saturday morning. Don is the past president of the Canadian Society of Technical Analysts, and he's also uh, the creator of two great blogs. One is timingthemarket.ca and the other is equityclock.com. So it's always a pleasure having Don on the program. Good morning, Don. Thank you for joining us. Yes, thanks for having me back, Mark. Okay, so let's talk about a little bit what's going on this past week. Apparently, um, we, we, we talked about this last couple of weeks, uh, tax loss selling in the gold and silver stocks. Yeah, it's amazing. The tax loss selling pressures continue to take their toll and on both gold and silver stocks. Uh, history shows that tax loss selling pressures usually reach a climax near the middle of December, like the end of next week. The middle of December also is the time when seasonal influences for gold and silver turns positive. Now look for history to repeat this year. Okay, so we're watching the gold and silver. Do you have any uh, quick feeling about how low gold could go in this time frame we just we just have to wait to see if it reverses yeah gold uh, actually broke down technically on uh, Wednesday of this week and uh, I can see signs of bottoming probably we'll see that sign within the next week okay and uh, several energy related commodities um, also um, have a seasonal factor coming in here as well right yeah, several energy related quantities and sectors have a history of reaching a seasonal bottom at the end of the first week in December for a seasonal trade into spring. In other words, they normally bottom right now. They include crude oil, gasoline, the energy sector, and the oil service industry. Now, tax loss selling pressures in the energy complex have abated during the last week. All have shown technical signs of low performance during the past week. The oil service sector is leading the way on, on the upside. So it's really amazing all the uh, cycles uh, for the commodities seem to be coming in around the same time in the same uh, place. So very interesting. Well, historically, the CRB index is, has also bottomed uh, right now and around the second week of December. And historically, it's not only crude oil but also gold. Uh, a lot of the other commodities do bottom right around this time of year. Don, thank you again for joining us. Good friend Don Violo from EquityClock.com and TimingTheMarket.ca. And uh, talk to you next week, Don. Thank you again. Thanks, Mark. Joining us is our good friend Henry Weingarten, who's been patiently waiting as well. Henry Weingarten is uh, the manager director of the Astrologers Fund. And um, good morning. Henry, thank you for joining us. It's, it's definitely been a fun week. We gave out our forecast this week to the year. So we're sort of uh, just sitting and waiting for them all to happen now. Uh, but basically, uh, we're somewhat bullish for the year, uh, certainly economically in the United States. And uh, we locked in our markets at uh, 69 to 7,000 on the NASDAQ and on 24, 5, up to 25,000 if it gets there. On the Dow, so we're just going to sit and do nothing, although we think January is positive. So what we were, did not had the most fun this week, of course, was Bitcoin, and we did two paper trades. One, for, when we gave our forecast at 10,800, it dropped close to 2,000 points the next day. And one on uh, Thursday, when it hit our target of uh, 17,139, almost the top and then dropped almost again 2,000. The interesting thing about that is all the trading is going to change on the 10th and the 18th, and we're very anxious to see what happens. We consider it a, a serious potential risk to the uh, markets in 2019, although it's a risk in 2018. But we think it's going to be an incredible trading vehicle, and if we're as lucky as we were in the last two times, we're going to be very, very happy. Yeah, we've got two exchanges sort of competing for business there, the CBOE and the Mercantile Exchange. I think the uh, CBOE is coming first, right? Right, and actually they're going to be, they're going to be more active and positive, and I think the, uh, the one on the 18th is going to sort of put in a top short term potentially in the markets. But we have to see what time they actually do it. But the nice thing is there'll be some liquidity, because if you look at those markets, you can have like 
you know, a thousand, two thousand dollars difference around the world, and all of those things will be arbitraged out. So, you know, if you have nice high-speed computers and you can go in multi currencies, you can make a fortune over the next two weeks or so, uh, and then they'll be, become the major trading areas. Because at least you know they're not going to blow up, and if you actually have it. Uh, somebody's going to be responsible for the loss of the bitcoins, but <laughs> whereas with some of these other exchanges, nobody's really responsible. Right, it's happened to several people that I know personally that uh, bitcoins have been lost. So, oh, absolutely. And, so the, and, this is the only sensible way to trade it. Yeah. Right, and plus, if you if you want to mitigate the risk, you can buy calls and puts too on the futures or the uh, I guess both, right? I guess yeah, on both I, exchanges. I haven't seen, I've seen the level, of it, but of course they're contrarian because a lot of people buy puts. Uh, then the market's going to go up, and if a lot of people buy calls, then it's going to go down. That's sort of the nature of the market. Right, right. So do you have any targets in the few seconds we have left here for Bitcoin, range, target, anything? Well, we, we, we just had our two, uh, you know, somewhere between zero and infinity. But, yeah, well, what we are looking for eventually is 5,000 and below. We want to know when it drops 78%. So we're looking, we haven't determined yet when it's going to drop 35 to 50%, because 20% is nothing. You know, that's a day trade. So we're still looking at when it's going to be 35 to 50 percent, and eventually it'll be 5,000. But you know, there, you can have any upward target you like, 17,000. One of them, 20, 40, 100. You know, I don't really know yet, but I'll be able to tell you that better in about two weeks. Right. Okay. And it'll be interesting if the SEC ever comes along with the ETF that the, the Winklevoss brothers tried to get past last year and was turned down. It would seem to me that uh, the SEC may have to catch up with the CFTC here. And uh, we'll, well see I that. personally think I think we should. Be more like Russia and China and make it illegal. So we have a different view on that. Because the only purpose of buying Bitcoin is to sell it. It really has no purpose in my view. So that's a different story. So that's why we're only interested in the short side. Okay. All right. Well, listen, a lot of action uh, in that market. And then we want to thank, uh, you know, Henry for giving us our insights. It's going to be a lot of trading. Uh, it seems to me this is, everyone seems to be dwelling only on the Bitcoin. You want to talk about the stock market, but just so much action over there and so much money has been made. And, and also, I guess, lost from those who uh, had their coins confiscated or lost in the <laughs> cyberspace. Funny, well, there's funny money. I mean, basically, it's going to be staying mostly up. We don't see any serious risk to the markets in 2019, although obviously North Korea is a risk. A risk. Uh, Deutsche Bank just came out with 30 risks <laughs> into the market, uh, such as um, the recognition of inflation in Q2, which certainly is one of the reasons we'll be short mid uh, in mid-May. So you have uh, you, know, you have a number of risks, certainly, uh, but I think in general the most important thing is the U.S. economy will be chugging along at 3% plus. Okay. Henry, I want to thank you again for joining us. This is our good friend, uh, Henry Weingarten from the Astrologers Fund. If you want more information, you go to afund.com, and uh, hopefully Henry will be able to join us here again uh, next week. Meanwhile, don't touch your dial. We're going to have our good friend Sinclair Noe joining us on Segment 3. Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com for more information on Mark's newsletters and products. Stay tuned. Mark will be right back. High-performance investors and traders use superior financial tools to achieve superior returns. You have that tool with Mark Leibovitz, nationally renowned top market timer, legendary television Wall Street Week elf, and nightly business report market monitor, who shares with you his unique market tools and commentary at WallStreetRaw.com. Here, Mark provides you with his latest ideas on how to help build and protect your wealth and help you avoid the next big market tsunami. Mark has a special free gift for listeners of his Wall Street Raw radio show. Go to WallStreetRaw.com and sign up for his free monthly Cannabis Vice News Raw report. While there, go ahead and sign up for his free monthly Gold News Raw report. Both are totally free. No credit card information is required, and no one will call. Sign up today for your free Cannabis Vice News Raw report and Gold News Raw report at WallStreetRaw.com. Are you happy washing your hands with harsh chemicals? Are you happy doing laundry with detergents? Are you happy paying high prices? Find your happiness with Pure Soap. These all-natural, earth-friendly Pure Soaps are the very best you've ever used. Buy in bulk. Get a 12, 36, or 48-month supply. Or get items individually and still save big. You're getting soap products twice as good as what you're using now. Earth-friendly and natural soaps. Your family deserves the best. 
Happiness is 5starsoap.com. Why not put your money up the drain for a change? See them at 5starsoap.com or call 1-800-340-7091 for a catalog. Cal Bend Soap Company can save you thousands of dollars and give you good old-fashioned real soaps that are triple concentrated. Soaps made from vegetable and coconut oils. See their full selection of soaps at 5starsoap.com. That's F-I-V-E starsoap.com. Or call 1-800-340-7091 for a catalog. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, the inventor of my pillow. And like all of you out there, I had problems sleeping. Pillows would go flat. I would flip-flop all night long. I would wake up with a sore neck, maybe a headache, or feel like I needed a nap even though I slept eight hours. When I invented my pillow, I wanted it to where you could move the patented fill to give you the exact support you need as an individual, regardless of sleep position. My pillow will get you into that deep REM sleep faster, and you will stay there longer. It's not about how much time we spend in bed. It's about how much of that quality sleep we get. I do all of my own manufacturing right here in the United States. I have a 10-year warranty. You can wash and dry my pillow, and I give you a 60-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to lose. And here's my best offer ever. You can buy one of my pillows and get one absolutely free. Go to MyPillow.com or call 800-870-0305 and use promo code GCN. That's MyPillow.com or 800-870-0305 with promo code GCN. Message and data rates may apply. Guys, got hair loss? I know what you're thinking. Should I shave my head? Comb it over? Wear a hat? Just stop. This isn't 1970. Keep your hair and your confidence because Bosley, America's number one hair restoration expert, can give you your real hair back permanently. Check them out today because they're giving away an absolutely free information kit and a free gift card to everyone who texts EASY66 to 85850. Dude, you don't have to look like your dad because this isn't your dad's hair loss treatment. People all over the country trust Bosley because they're ahead of the curve. They use the latest technology to give you your real hair back. And the best part, Bosley's permanent solution is protected by the Bosley Guarantee. Let them show you for free how awesome your hair could look with an absolutely free information kit and a gift card for $250 off. Text EASY66 to 85850. Ask about the Bosley Guarantee, E-A-S-Y-66 to 85850. Welcome back to Wall Street Raw. Want to know more about Wall Street Raw and the Leibovit VR newsletters? Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com. Welcome back to Wall Street Raw on this Saturday morning, um, December 9th. And uh, as you know, it's been a wild uh, week in the markets here. We've had a lot of very special guests on the show already. I'm making a little uh, contrary uh, predictions about what's coming up here in uh, December and January, but that's what makes markets. Meanwhile, uh, my good friend Sinclair No from KFNN 1510 has been patiently waiting on the phone to join us. Uh, Sinclair is the author also of the incomparable blog, Eat the Bankers. Dot com. Good morning, Sinclair, and thank you again for joining us. Good morning, Mark. Always a pleasure. Thank you. So uh, should we rush out and buy Bitcoin at $17,000 a coin? What do you think? Yeah, go for it. Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, some are predicting 100000 So some are predicting 100000 right, or more, yeah, yeah. or a million. I mean, well, a week ago they were predicting 40000 and we thought that was crazy. But, you know, we're almost halfway there, so why not? Um, I, look, I don't know how far this will run, but I also think that there is a good chance it will get slammed once it makes its way onto the futures exchanges. I don't think it will be an immediate slam, but I think that at some point in the next month or two, there will be a significant slam. So, you know, if you're if, if you did buy into Bitcoin and you've made some money, congratulations. 
it's not real until you take the money off the table. Just saying. Uh, if you missed it, don't worry. You probably didn't win the lottery this week either. Don't be upset about that. Right, so we have the CBOE jumped on the bandwagon ahead right after the CME, uh, Chicago uh, Mercantile in Chicago. They're both in the same uh, town. I used to live there, so they're like you know two blocks away from each other. But uh, they, the Burke decided they want to do futures, and then the CBOE jumped in, and they're supposed to start first. So it, it's it's like you know who's gonna who's gonna get the action, right? Who, they want the business. It's gonna be well, huge. Th- that's it. They, they're the exchanges. They're just looking for the business. Um, they're not looking at the underlying issue of Bitcoin. And Bitcoin, look, there's some real interesting things going on with Bitcoin. One, you know, I mean, this whole thing started as part of the dark web, and it was a way for, essentially, for drug transactions and other illegal activity to take place and for payments to be made. Um, And you might say, well, surely the government will step in and shut something like that down. But they haven't quite figured out how to do it yet. And, you know, the other question is, will they ever figure out how to shut down illegal activity? Will they ever be able to shut down uh, the drug trade? I don't know that they will. And I'm not sure that they'll be able to shut down uh, Bitcoin either. But it's going to start getting a lot of people's attention. And um, the blockchain technology behind it is interesting. It's something that I know banks would like to incorporate and and, and use. The, the technology is interesting, but, but underlying Bitcoin, there are a lot of concerns. And, and there's going to be some blowback on it at some point. Remember, governments... It, derive a tremendous amount of power from being able to control their own currency. They're not really going to enjoy the idea of an interloper kind of jumping in out of nowhere with an alternative currency. And I don't think that they're going to just let it keep going without some sort of a fight. Now, whether they can prevail or not, maybe we will end up with some kind of an alternative currency, uh, a parallel currency, if you will. I don't know. This is strange, strange stuff. And I'm not sure we've really seen much like it before. I know the Fed, we talked about this last week. Uh, there was some talk about they may uh, investigate doing their own uh, uh, cryptocurrency as well. Uh, even though they didn't say they're doing it, there have been some stories out that they've been thinking or talking or, or rumored that the, that may occur. But, you know, the whole thing, Sinclair, comes down to the, to the war on cash and personal freedoms and, you know, uh, the, the, the fear of what governments are doing with currency. And uh, this is an outgrowth of uh, mismanagement on the part of central banks. I yeah. Think. yeah, I mean, that's true. And the central banks and governments right now are really behind the curve when it comes to understanding cryptocurrency and and what is going on with it. Um, they're, they're trailing behind on this, and, and they're not leading the parade. They're, they're watching it pass them by. I know. A lot of governments, uh, as you said, are... Are against it. China tried to shut it down, but then Japan approved it prior to that. And a lot of, you know, I, I don't think you can fight the, that free market unless somehow they can shut down the internet in some way that prevents the transactions from occurring. I, I think Bitcoin's here to stay. That's just my reading, you know. And it may be. I mean, I remember at one time uh, governments were thinking, well, we'll just shut down the internet. I mean, there's nothing going on there that's worthwhile. <laughs> <laughs> You'll tell that to Donald Trump and the tweets he's been sending out all day. I don't think he'd be well, too happy, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't know if uh, the tweets are the most productive use of the Internet, but nonetheless, um, it, it, we weren't able to shut down the Internet because it offended some people um, or because governments weren't able to control it the way they wanted to. But... Uh, We'll just have to see what happens with this. I think, just just if nothing else, looking at the charts, this parabolic uh, rise that we've seen in Bitcoin, usually uh, any kind of a parabolic run ends badly. So just on, on chart action alone, you've got to think that we're getting near the end of this in, incredible run that we're seeing. Uh, maybe not there yet. 
as I say, I, I, th- I think it could very well last into the new year, maybe into January, February. But at some point or another, I think we're going to see a tremendous short opportunity. I just wouldn't short it today. So I've been trading the, uh, for the VR Trader clients, uh, the Bitcoin Investment Trust, ticker symbol GBTC. I remember first uh, recommending it a couple of years ago or pu- you know, putting it up for trades. And I, it's got to be like $80, $90 a share at that time. i got to look back at the old trades. It got up to 1800 this past week. I mean, and I've been trying to trade it in the last couple, three weeks, but it just kept running and it didn't pull back enough. And it's a big difference trading a $100 or $200 stock than to trade, you know, an $1,800 stock. But the problem with that GBTC, C. Sinclair, I couldn't short it. Either that you couldn't borrow the share, so I had to wait for dips to buy it. Now with these futures coming trading, you know, there's other vehicles. It's really going to offer an opportunity for guys like me. You know. Well, and, and what it's also what the futures are also going to offer is a way to short Bitcoin, which we really haven't had before. Um, if you wanted to short Bitcoin, how did you do it? You couldn't. You just had to sell it. I think you couldn't. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, uh, now you've got a way to short it coming up soon. We're not there yet, but but the futures are going to offer essentially a way to short Bitcoin. And believe me, there are going to be some traders out there who who are going to try and do that. There, there are going to be some people who are going to try and move the market at some point. And at some point, they'll have a successful short, short uh, trade take place. Uh, like I say, not yet. And at least it gives you ability to hedge your position and protect yourself. Sinclair, uh, if you don't mind, please uh, stay with us. We have another break, a break coming up, and we'd love to have you continue. And uh, Sinclair No from KFN and 1510 Phoenix, uh, and author of the great blog, eatthebankers.com. Don't touch your dial. We'll be back after the break. Are listening to Wall Street Raw with Mark Leibovit. Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com for information on Mark's newsletters and products. Stay tuned. Mark will be right back. High performance investors and traders use superior financial tools to achieve superior returns. You have that tool with Mark Leibovit, nationally renowned top market timer, legendary television Wall Street Week elf, and nightly business report market monitor, who shares with you his unique market tools and commentary at WallStreetRaw.com. At WallStreetRaw.com, Mark provides you with his latest ideas on how to help build and protect your wealth and help you avoid the next big market crash. Mark has a special free gift for listeners of his Wall Street Raw radio show. Go to WallStreetRaw.com and sign up for his free monthly Cannabis Vice News Raw Report. While there, go ahead and sign up for his free monthly Gold News Raw Report. Both are totally free. No credit card information is required. Sign up today for your free Cannabis Vice News Raw and Gold News Raw Reports at WallStreetRaw.com. That's WallStreetRaw.com. ID Stronghold wallets are different. They may look the same on the outside. They're stylish. They'll hold your cards and cash. But they're hiding something great on the inside. No, there are no pyrotechnics. And it doesn't sing when you open it. But it does have magical powers. ID Stronghold wallets protect your critical information and identity from thieves standing right next to you. Protect your family this holiday season with affordable leather ID Stronghold wallets and purses. Anyone can buy a cheap RFID scanner online and snag your information just by walking past you. Contactless credit cards, debit cards, even your work ID badge. ID Stronghold was the first to pioneer RFID blocking technology over 12 years ago. Secure your identity and save 10% by using coupon code PRESENT for a limited time at IDStronghold.com. That's coupon code PRESENT. Also available at Walmart.com, eBay, Amazon, or QVC. IDStronghold.com Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I'm here to tell you about GCNTelecare.com, a team of board-certified doctors assisting you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 
365 days a year. Within 15 minutes of registration, care your family can afford. Revolutionizing the healthcare industry, virtual consulting providing diagnosis of non-emergency medical issues by phone or secure video on computer or smart mobile devices. GCNTelecare.com. Virtual care anywhere. Do you have difficulty taking supplements? Are you searching for a high-quality, complete nutritional drink that your whole family will love? Nutramedical's Life Support has arrived. All of your daily nutritional requirements in one quick, delicious drink. Dr. Bill Deagle's Life Support is a proprietary blend of vegan protein, activated vitamins, essential minerals, amino acids, probiotics, green tea, digestive enzymes, anti-inflammatories, cancer prevention, detoxification, and much more. Your body will high-five you for this one. Life Support is the best complete nutritional meal replacement on the market. Whether you are an elite athlete, have post-operative challenges, chronic illness, elderly, or a family that just wants a quick, delicious drink, try Dr. Bill Deagle's Life Support for optimized nutrition in one great-tasting smoothie. Just add cold water, almond milk, fruit, or anything else you like. Nutramedical's Life Support. Try our great-tasting chocolate or vanilla today. Call 888-212-8871 or visit us online at Nutramedical.com. Nutramedical.com for the whole family. Full cooked, ready-to-eat bacon. I'm talking thick, meaty, center-cut, presidential bacon. Savory and delicious. I buy some, I use some, I store some. Awesome. No refrigeration needed with a 10-year shelf life. NASA pack technology. Bacon. Fully cooked, fully hydrated, ready-to-eat right from the pack bacon, or warm and served. Life-saving, ready-to-eat bacon. 10-year shelf life bacon. Ships free at FullyCookedBacon.com. FullyCookedBacon.com. Responsibility begins and ends with our partners and our shareholders, and that's it. There is no freedom without the law. Get it? Got it? Good. Welcome back to Wall Street Law and the final segment with Mark Leibovich. Now, here's the elf himself. Welcome back to Wall Street Raw on the Saturday, December 9th, and uh, here we are uh, talking about Bitcoin with our good friend Sinclair No from KFNN 1510 Phoenix. Thank you for uh, staying around and uh, joining us. Well, I mean, it's December. Who else do you hang out, out with but an elf, right? <laughs> <laughs> of course, Sinclair is referring to that years ago when I used to be an elf with the old uh, Lewis uh, God. Well, rest his soul, uh, Louis Rukeyser, uh when I was involved with his show. Yeah, that was sort of funny because uh, they, I never actually dressed up like an elf, but they had these little cartoons at the beginning of the show, Sinclair, with little elf uh, shoes and uh, oh, ears. I remember, yeah. <laughs> and, and one Christmas... <laughs> They had the elves dancing on the screen, so you know they would insert the the picture of each of the elves inside that little caricature or cartoon. I was looking at myself dancing around <laughs> as an elf. It was, <laughs> I don't think anybody really saw who it was in that picture, but it was it wasn't uh, too complimentary. But that was a fun time. But thank you for bringing it up. It's n- another lifetime. Another lifetime. All right. Well, thank long, you. Uh, long before Bitcoin. Uh, long before. <laughs> And there'll be a lot that'll come and go uh, that we'll be talking about, hopefully in the years ahead. And you know, we, you know, of course, you know, I got very actively involved with the uh, the uh, cannabis space too, and that's been uh, that's been really uh, really hot. And I thought it was going to cool off a little bit. So there's always something, you know, going on. You know, you always find where the the action is in the markets, and uh, you know, gold and silver seem to die down for a while, but then now the stock market took off and doesn't want to stop. So. The stock market, Sinclair, just relentless. Nobody thought it would get to 24,000, and here we're well over it. Yeah, well over 24K, and and part of the reason is where are you going to go? Um, I mean, some people I think probably have moved out of the stock market and and said, well, I'll I'll make a little trade over here in Bitcoin, but but seriously, you're going to take a capital gains hit if you get out of stocks right now. And then where do you go? You, do you move over to treasuries? I don't think so. You know, maybe you park some cash over there for a short period of time, but rates are still incredibly low. There's no place else to go right now. So, so you're kind of locked into the stock market unless you want to go gamble over with bitcoins. And a lot of people just don't have the stomach for that. And, and, and I understand that. So, yeah, 
yeah, the, the market just keeps kind of clawing its way a little bit higher, a little bit higher. But at the same time, you're going to start seeing Federal Reserve. We've already seen it. Federal Reserve has started raising interest rates. And just recently, they've started quantitative tightening. Right. Very slow, very gradual. But that's going to build up. That's going to be billions and billions of dollars over the next year. They're going to raise interest rates again. We just got the jobs report on Friday, 228,000 new jobs added in November, 4.1% unemployment rate. Didn't really affect wages. Wages barely moved higher, but they were up just slightly. At some point, we're getting close to full employment. Um, I don't think we're there yet. I think there's still a little bit of slack remaining in, in the labor market. But right now, the job situation is strong. We should be seeing some wage push inflation. We're not. But but basically, this wrapped up another uh, Fed rate increase for December. That, that wrapped it up with a bow. Uh, we're going to see another rate increase. And I anticipate that we will continue to see the gradual incremental rate increases in 2018 under the new Fed chair, uh, Jay Powell. Right, he was a, he was before the Senate Banking Committee this past week. Yeah, and, and as expected, everything went fine. He, you know, barring some unforeseen situation, he'll be the next Fed chair, um, and he will likely continue the, most of the policies of Janet Yellen, and rates will be moving higher over the next 12 months. And at some point or another, the market's going to notice that. Um, I mean, you, you've you seen the charts, Mark. You look at the Federal Reserve's balance sheet, overlap a chart of the S&P 500, and then and then take away the, the labels and tell me which one is which. They're, right. they're so similar, it's crazy. As the Fed expanded their balance sheet, the markets climbed and climbed and climbed. And, and the Fed acted as a backstop for every dip that we've seen along the way. So anytime the market took a little bit of a tumble, maybe 5%, 10%, something like that, there was the Fed, quantitative easing, buying up some more, low interest rates. Markets just couldn't go down very much. But what happens when when that changes to quantitative tightening? What happens as we move further and further away from a zero interest rate policy from ZERP? Well, what's the backstop? What are the tools the Fed will use at that time to... uh, uh, to backstop stocks. Don't know. Yeah, yeah right. We were, depend- we were depending on Bernanke to turn things around and yell in, and sure enough, it worked. So now they're, as you say, reversing policy on a small scale. So who knows, right? But uh, yeah. there are also studies that say that. Pullback. But there are studies that say rising interest rates are not necessarily bad for stocks. There are studies that that go in that that camp as well. So we'll find out, right? Yeah, and to a certain extent, I would agree with that. Some A little bit higher interest rates are not necessarily a terrible thing for the stock market. Um, you would anticipate that we would see slightly higher interest rates at this point in the recovery. Is it, is it enough to – are rising interest rates enough to kill the stock market by themselves? No. But, you know, at some point this market's going to have a correction. Um, we're just not seeing it now. At this point, you see any kind of pullback, and you go, oh, well, I'll buy into that. Um, we saw it with techs this past uh, week or so. Techs pulled back a little bit. Uh, the big tech names, the, the fangs, uh, pulled back a little bit. Okay, fine. You know, what do you do at that point? You move over to treasuries? No. Do you, do you go hog wild and move over to Bitcoin? No. What do you do? Well, you buy back into some uh, fang stocks. And sure enough, they bounce right back up. Or we can look at gold. Selling off here. Maybe it's an opportunity. We just had a couple interviews on the show. Uh, uh, Tax loss selling into the end of the year. Seasonal tendency for low in December. We might see a nice uh, nice bounce come January, too. Yeah, you might see a nice little bounce. You're not going to see a Bitcoin bounce, but you might see a nice little bounce. I tell you, the Bitcoin frustrates the gold people, too, as you know, because gold was supposed to have been the answer to the alternate currency and the, the dreams of uh, gold being at uh, ten, fifteen, seventeen thousand dollars $17,000 an ounce have been out there, you know, forever, and but Bitcoin does it instead. It just, yeah, um, go figure. Go figure. It, it was the Bitcoin that did what gold was supposed to do, right? What is the intrinsic value of Bitcoin? I have no idea. Right. 
What's the intrinsic value of gold? Well, I got an idea there. I, I think I understand that. But it's been around, been around five thousand years. Has some sense of value, right? Yeah. Never gone, never gone to zero. They say, right? Never has. So let's talk a little bit about the tax uh, plan. What's going on there? I know this is a big, big point in your commentary. Sure, we've tried to cover the tax plan pretty thoroughly over at eatthebankers.com. dot com, and uh, it's still an ugly, ugly mess. It's going through reconciliation now uh, as the. House and Senate tries to figure out the differences between their two versions, and, and part of what they figured out is that uh, they threw them together pretty fast, and there are some big mistakes in there uh, that they're going to have to figure out. Um, at some point or another, they're going to get to the realization that they have a huge uh, hole in the deficit, and the only way to overcome this is uh, by making some very very drastic cuts, just huge cuts in spending. Um, and that is going to it's going to tick off a lot of people. They're going to have to raise revenue somewhere. I don't see how they do it without uh, the salt, uh, state and local taxes. I don't see how they do it without uh, dealing with some issues such as a, a alternative minimum tax. Um, there are going to be a lot of people who are going to be dissatisfied with this whole thing and then they're going to have to vote on it again. Once they come up with the version, they're going to have to vote on it again. And they may not have support from a lot of uh, legislators from New York and California and all these other states that are going to be particularly hard hit. It's Claire, thank you for joining yeah. us. Thank you for joining us, Sinclair. We ran out of time. Sinclair, no, okay, in 1510 Phoenix. And uh, join us next week, folks, at Wall Street Raw. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening to Wall Street Raw with nationally recognized market timer and previous Wall Street Week Alf, Mark Leibovic. If you missed any of today's show or to get in touch with Mark, please go to WallStreetRawRadio.com. Any stocks or investment discussed on Wall Street Raw are not in any way a recommendation or solicitation to buy, sell, or hold. We first recommend you seek out a licensed financial professional for advice. Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com for more information on Mark. Mark's newsletters and products. High performance investors and traders use superior financial tools to achieve superior returns. You have that tool with Mark Leibovit, nationally renowned top market timer, legendary television Wall Street Week elf, and nightly business report market monitor who shares with you his unique market tools and commentary at WallStreetRaw.com. Here, Mark provides you with his latest ideas on how to help build and protect your wealth and help you avoid the next big market tsunami. Mark has a special free gift for listeners of his Wall Street Raw radio show. Go to WallStreetRaw.com and sign up for his free monthly Cannabis Vice News Raw Report. While there, go ahead and sign up for his free monthly Gold News Raw Report. Both are totally free. No credit card information is required, and no one will call. Sign up today for your free Cannabis Vice News Raw Report and Gold News Raw Report at WallStreetRaw.com. Want revenge on the common housefly? Well, after 10,000 years, someone has finally come up with a better way. The Bug Assault, a miniaturized shotgun, which utilizes ordinary table salt as ammunition. Non-toxic and no batteries required. So much fun, you'll forget you have a wife and kids. $39.95 and free economy shipping. Use discount code GCN and get an extra 10% off your purchase at BugAssault.com. Makes the perfect stocking stuffer. Get your Bug Assault today. Frustrated trying to get business capital? Want to take the slow process and rejection out of the equation? GCNLoans.com removes the slow, irritating approval process. Instead, get quick, simple funding. Powered by David Allen Capital, 80% of our pre-qualified clients are approved in days. Pre-qualify at GCNLoans.com and get your money this week. It's that easy. GCNLoans.com. That's GCNLoans.com.